Hey, 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 what is going on? My divine, my fine ass feminine. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at you to let you know what the energies are surrounding you around the month of March 2019. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. How have my ladies been doing? How have y'all been doing? I hope y'all been getting those messages in the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. If you guys have not been checking out for the weekly Divine Feminine Daily Bread, you most definitely can um, look forward to that coming um, Monday. So just pay attention to that. It just gives you energies for the young ladies that um, have breaking away from toxic relationships especially you know regarding this divine uh, masculine energy if he's not ready and you guys you know are just like I'm not waiting I'm going forth and I'm trying to find happiness right now and if it's meant to be it'll come back and if you know if it's not then so be it I'm going forth to find happiness so for all of my ladies doing that journey um, check out the divine feminine daily bread thank you guys so much for everyone liking sharing and subscribing to my page and enjoying my videos and giving me the love and support thank you so much and if this video resonates would you please make sure to like share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to come and check me out so thank you so much for all that love and support if you would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion red tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab there is a hyperlink in the link section there's a little blue link that says scorpion red tarot at simply book me again it says scorpion red tarot at simply book me okay and if this video resonates, if you want to send some love, you can go ahead and drop a dollar or two in the PayPal. The link is in the description. Let's get into the prayer, you guys. Oh, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you so much for bringing us positive energy. Thank you so much for bringing us big leaps and bounds in regards to our growth, our determination, and just overall just living and loving ourselves because we are just vibrating in a... A, a rhythm of self-love right now um we are putting out well first off we are putting in we are drinking our own cup we are loving ourselves, and that is putting out that vibration out into the universe and father god i thank you so much for all of the blessings and this good luck abundance that has been coming in and that we have been receiving father god the feminine the Divine Feminine has been receiving your message and we have been paying attention and we have been listening and we have been following that Divine God and Light. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God, for all of the blessings and everything. We are just rejoicing in this glory in this current moment, Father God. Thank you so much for waking us up. Thank you for the awakening. Thank you so much for the rest. Thank you for allowing us to get our mind together to regain our strength. For us to realize that before we can allow any blessings to come into our life we got to bless ourselves and love ourselves first and we thank you so much because oh my goodness we are pampering ourselves but we are just living it and loving it so thank you father god for all of that please give us more guidance for the month of march please give us overall guidance of what we need to pay attention to and focus on in the month of march to continue to live in this happiness and this glow please help us to stay in this you know Stay in this vibration and not only that, bring more vibrations of love and happiness and prosperity to us. Give us signs, give us messages for the Divine Feminine for the month of March. And thank you again for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. We thank you again, Father God. Thank you so much. Alright. So, let's see what the overall energy is for the Divine Feminine for the month of March 2019. Yes, indeed. Thank you, thank you so much. Father God, I feel a good energy in the pit of my stomach. I do, I do, I do. Let's see what the Lord got for us, ladies. Alright. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for the divine feminine. Alright, you are rejoicing. You are celebrating. You are <laughs> literally celebrating in the fruits of your labor i think you guys have been going out celebrating a lot and shoot why not why not <laughs> you got over this you are no longer mentally confused distraught feeling betrayed nothing like you were completely free you've been celebrating your freedom 
you've been celebrating this change you've been celebrating being mentally clear and free of any burdens of any stripe of any pain i mean it's like you're in a moment of celebration i see you guys going out with your friends you know you don't find you don't find a way to sneak away and get away from environments that weren't mentally conducive to your environment you know what i'm saying you turn around you stop worrying about those spilled cups and stop crying and focusing on the stuff that happened in the past and you finally looking at what's ahead in the name of jesus what is this you got a knight of cup coming forth huh not a cup coming forth hold on I don't think you're ready to work on that just yet. Okay, let's see what's going on. Alright. So, this is what I see. I see that you guys have been rejoicing and you guys been celebrating with your girls. You know, you've been reuniting with some of your friends. I feel like people that you maybe had lost connection with um, when you were going through this relationship with this divine masculine or this person that you thought was your divine masculine. Um, people that you lost connection with. I feel like your cousins and your family and stuff like that. I feel like y'all have been going out because I uh, some people have birthdays in March. Um, I feel like if it's not your cousin's birthdays, um, I feel like it's a cousin's birthday. I feel like you guys are like reuniting to celebrate because it's a cousin's birthday or something like that. And I feel like throughout this, you know, y'all celebrating and stuff like that. And they're just like, man, I can't even believe you just seem so different. You just seem so different now. It You seem like you don't even think about this situation anymore. You seem like you done got away from this situation. And you're a completely different person now. Like, that's what your friends are saying to you over a cup of, you know, wine and things like that. Like, girl, you just seem... You just seem different. You don't even think the same now that you done got away from that situation. Like, how did you do that? Like, what? Like, please tell me what it was or what snapped or what changed with you where after you done snuck away and you done got away from the situation, how, 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 how did you turn things around? How did you, like, because you were so stuck on worrying about that situation, worrying about what he was doing and just... That situation had you fucked up for a while. Like, what's not, what changed? What made you turn around and pay attention to, like, your future? You just seem so emotionally grounded now and just positive. You seem like you are really over this. Like, y'all really let that, y'all really let that go. And, like, I feel like y'all, y'all going to be celebrating and talking about that. And you just like, man, look, <laughs> I know good and well to, I got a lot of dudes coming to me and I got one I possibly might want to offer a cup to because, you know, he's been very, you know, he's been courting me for a little bit. He's been chivalrous and stuff like that. And I've been kind of feeling like I want to open up my heart to him. But at the same time, I don't want to move too fast. I don't want to put too much into it. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like. You know, the Divine Feminine is meeting people and I feel like you might met someone. You're possibly going to meet someone during the month of March. If you haven't already met someone, if you haven't already met someone that you already turned around and you looked right behind you and you was like, oh, well, who are you? Hold on. <laughs> what's poppin'? Like, what's going on? Hi. How you doing, Mr. Beauregard? Um, what's going on, baby? Uh, what's poppin'? All up there with your armor on, looking like you can protect and provide and stuff. You all sweet with the little, like, the, when he speak to you, it feel like it's like poetic lyrics coming from his throat or something. It's like, why are you so... Ugh? 
This person just be making your heart melt and you done turned around into that. You be like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? And you sitting over there talking to your girlfriends about it. You like, girl, let me talk. Shit, I don't even know. I might want to offer my cup to this one. But your girl's like, girl, for real? Girl, for real? You like, yeah, girl, but you know. Girl, let me tell you the truth, Tito. I ain't really, really sure about this one because I ain't just trying to put all my eggs in the first basket that come along. You all drunk, slurring and shit. Like, girl, you know, I don't went through this shit. It took me a lot to get through this shit, girl. I ain't even trying to be going because you know how you know good and well I ain't seen this shit coming. You see the motherfuckers hiding in the bushes and shit. You ain't even seen the motherfuckers coming. You was just going on, minding your business. Like, you feeling that you was in a trusted environment that you was able to chill and enjoy yourself and stuff mentally physically and spiritually the whole time psych your mind like shit these motherfuckers came out here and hit you with the oh okie doke and you was like oh no <laughs> uh uh mm mm Cause y'all motherfuckers sneaky and underhanded and I'm about to sneak my ass right the fuck up and run out of here because you ain't about to mentally manipulate me. And guess what? And the thing that you did, Divide Feminine, this person was fooled and they were tricked and they were bamboozled because they thought for whatever reason that you loved them that deep that you didn't love yourself enough to continue to allow them to sneak and get away with this bullshit that they were trying to pull over on your mind because you loved them that much and they thought they could get away with it. Whole time you had a little plan of your own while you were sitting up there playing coy, acting, mm hmm, and you gave them signs and you let them know one, two, three, four, several times. I will leave your ass where you stand and you won't even see it coming, honey. I'll be like a, 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 a phantom in the night, honey. I, one minute I'm here, one minute I'm gone, bitch. You don't even know what the fuck happened. And this motherfucker was sleeping. And they was left standing. And you done turned your ass around. And you was like, man, fuck them damn cups. <laughs> I done took mine. And I'm about ready to make a move, nigga. I'm about ready to make a move. But whole time. Mm-mm. I ain't about to make a move too fast. Let me spend a little bit more time. Let me spend a little bit more time and decide if I really want to put my work in this because I might be there, but I ain't really going to put no whole, whole bunch into this situation because I, you know, I've been through enough. I've been through a lot of battles. You know, I've, I've, I've been through situations where I've literally had to humbly kneel to God and ask him for Help me regain my strength to help me get out of this situation. It's like you ain't never really loved someone until you prayed and you asked God to help me get the hell away from him. You know? I love him, but he don't love me. You know? And I feel like you went through one, two, three, several battles too many. And it's just like, you know, I am not willing to ever put myself in a situation like that ever the fuck again. Where I'm... Bending down, if I'm going to bend down and pray, it's going to be my daily prayer, asking and thanking God for thanks and for the blessings, you know, that he's bestowed upon my life. That's the only reason why I will be crying and kneeling in prayer, thanking God. You know, you have a, you ever been so happy and fulfilled in life that you done literally dropped to your knees and just started crying and just saying, thank you, thank you. That's the only thing that you've been doing recently. And you like, that's the only thing that I'm going to continue doing. I've been thanking God. I've been kneeling. I've been thanking God for all of the blessings and the change and the abundance that he's been bringing into my life. And I will never the fuck again allow anybody to come in my life and destroy my happiness. Not only that, just my ability to think for myself, you know, because I felt like I was controlled by this love and this relationship. And no, it took me a lot to get through that shit. So no, I, I, I need to take some time and decide if this is something that I really want to work on. You know, I need and before I just offer my cup to somebody, but you know, there's somebody that's coming around that you damn sure will and you like shit. Look, I don't I don't walked away from this situation and I turned around and says, <laughs> Woo! I done turned around into something nice. <laughs> something real nice, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Something real nice. Let's find out something about this Knight of Cups. And I'm nosy. Father God, give us some guidance for the divine feminine in regards to this Knight of Cups. Who is this Knight of Cups? 
daughters can easily be saying, you know what? You could be just talking to your girls at the bar and he's like, yeah, man, that situation over. I just fucking snuck away and I got away from that situation. That nigga thought I was going to be stuck there forever, but <laughs> psych your mind. Uh, that nigga got there standing. I done went on, you know, because I realized, you know, my heart needed to be given to someone else. And I ain't willing to work on that situation with that person no more because shit, I done, I done lied and I done cried. Too many days. I'd have been alive in my bed too many days and cried too many times and fought too many battles in that situation. And shit, girl, that's why I'm sitting here with you drinking right now. Because fuck that nigga. <laughs> okay. It's the King of Cups in reverse. Someone not willing to. Someone not ready to emotionally give and is not emotionally balanced in the situation. Because they are. Too busy, focused on a lost love, a relationship that um, spilled over. It might have involved a Scorpio, because that's a Scorpion coming out of that cup, ain't it? Alright? Is that a Scorpion coming out of that cup? It is indeed. So, it seems like in regards to this situation with this Knight of Cups... This Knight of Cups person might, you might have got a red flag about this person. Excuse me, y'all. Hello? Oh, anyway. And y'all excuse me because I had somebody in my, um, in the comment section say, why do I always hear the phone ringing? Because... It's a house phone, and I'm in my house, and it's doing what its purpose is. That's why it's ringing. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, excuse my house phone and me recording in my house. I'm sorry. I don't have enough money to have a recording studio, you guys. So, that was a sarcastic joke. I'm sorry. Anyway. So, um, like I was saying, <laughs> I feel like in a situation with this um, Knight of Cups, I feel like it's someone walking forward to you, and I feel like it's someone that you are contemplating giving your cup to, but I feel like you halt before you really do it, because you're like, I don't want to really work on it with this situation. I need to uh, observe this situation a little bit more, because I feel like this person reminds you of your person from your past. Because this is someone kneeling before some cups. They're crying over a love that was lost in the past. You see what I'm saying? Something that they cannot let go. Something that they are mourning. So you are looking at this person. I feel like maybe this person reminds you of your ex. Okay? Especially if your ex was a water sign. Because there's a whole lot of water right here. You understand? So your ex could have been a Scorpio. Or your ex could have been a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay? But I'm seeing Scorpio right here. This is someone who wasn't available emotionally. I wasn't emotionally grounded. That could have been running around seeing other people. Or not even necessarily seeing other people. I just feel like this person just did not appropriately know how to love you. But there's three cups spilled. So of course that means that there was a third party. So I mean yeah. I mean, in the King of Cups in reverse, that is definitely someone that is a little playboy. Right? But I feel like this person might remind you of something from your past with this Scorpio. With this water sign. This person that you felt like you could never get any truth out of. This person that at times you feel like was mentally abusive. Mentally manipulative. Um, you feel like You just could not see the true blue sky in this situation with this person. I feel like this person turned their back on you and they were never available for you on an emotional standpoint because um, you were never able to get the clear facts out of this person. This person was not able to like really show you emotion. I don't, I, did this person... Yeah, this person was not able to show you any emotion. You weren't able to get any truth from this person. This person... Mm -hmm. And this person is very smart. 
and this person is it is because that's the dolphin right there right don't they say the dolphin is one of the most smartest people in the like you know like one of the smartest animals in the sea isn't that what they say i feel like this person this king of cups in reverse they were calculated in what truths they gave you and what truths they didn't give you you see and it's just like with that Scorpio energy, it's like there was always deaths and rebirths and deaths and rebirths and deaths and rebirths of this situation. It was like after this person was hot or cold with you, it wasn't really any middle ground. It was like in a situation, this person was either with you, like this person will come into your life and they'll be with you. And then for whatever reason, they just decided they don't want to fuck with you no more. And they'll completely wall you out and you're dead to them. You know, and then for whatever reason, it'll get, you know, rebirth this relationship. It'll, it'll, it'll come back again and it'll bring brand new life to it again. And then, you know, this person is emotionally given and you feel like everything is balanced and everything. And just for whatever reason, and you never know the true truth behind why, why. But clearly we see that there was another person there. So it's like this person turn you on, turn you off, turn you on, turn you off. Want to dead the situation and bring it back to life. Want to dead, bring it back to life. And you can never get, you can never get any truth into where you stood with this person on an emotional stand. You never knew where you stood with this King of Cups. And this person knew what they were doing. This person knows what they're doing. This person is very smart extremely smart and they hold their troops back as a form of control almost do you understand what i'm saying so this person i feel like and you feel like you're telling your girls like i like this guy but you know i got away from this person and um i turned around and i and i walked into this guy here and I want to offer him my cup because he's been coming at me hard. You know what I'm saying? He's been trying to, I feel like this Knight of Cups, he's been trying to will you down. Like he's, he's been trying hard. He's been laying it on you thick. But I feel like you've been getting some signs from this person. I feel like this person reminds you of your ex. And or this is your ex coming back to you, wanting you to emotionally give to them. Do you see what I'm saying? They're wanting you to emotionally give to them because, um, hold on, you guys. Let me put my charger on. All right. So, yeah, he's, he's wanting you to emotionally give to, to them because you snuck away from them and you got away from them. But. Mm-mm. 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 You like I'm not I'm not gonna turn around and be focused on my past no more. This person don't know how to give to me and this person don't know how to tell me the truth about anything. And this person is mentally and emotionally calculating. This person knows exactly what they're doing. And I prayed and I fought myself out of this situation. I'm not going back to that. And you're not going back to nobody that reminds you of this King of Cups that you left. And I feel like this person is like possibly trying to remind you of certain things from the past. He's trying to possibly get you to look back at the past or whatever and things from the past to mentally manipulate you to offer your cut back to them. Do you feel what I'm saying, ladies? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Give me some guidance in the shadow and light. Get the divine feminine guidance in the shadow and light for the month of March 2019. Thank you so much. Please give them a shadow and light oracle card surrounding their situation in March that you can just give them focus in regards to where they need to keep their mindset and their energies in the month of March. Let's give them a shadow and light oracle card. Thank you. 
the signs are with you, the snow angel. All right, let's see. Let's see what this say. The number four. All right, so let's see what this young lady has to say. This angel is one of many beings assigned to humanity to carve out signs in the most stark and lifeless places. She leaves signs for those who cannot see and shape them again and again until one day those who deny she is watching over them finally wake up. It is at this moment she can move on to another charge. By acknowledging her protection, you set her free and release her. And release her many blessings so others too may benefit from it. Look around you now for signs of her presence. Even if the snow of the winter and the harsh desert sands, she has made her presence felt. It is your blindness or unwillingness. Um... That holds you uh that holds you back, not life itself. Oh. Open up your eyes and see her presence, the snow angel of all angels. Feel their blessings and begin to live a new life anew. The snow angel speaks. Hmm. There. If you miss that sign, I really don't know what will convince you. Maybe I should stand here a while and wait until you notice me and point a sign flapping my wings. And then you'll believe that it's really a damn sign. Well, they ain't say damn. I say damn. <laughs> I, I leave signs for all to see. Clear indicators of my presence. And even make my shape in this cold snow. But again and again and again, you ask, where are my angels? And here I am. I will continue to leave my mark in the snow with a feather falling from the sky and a gentle voice that speaks to you at night. And evil, and even I may, uh, a prod I may give you from behind. But stop asking for signs. You have received many. And none of them have been seen or acknowledged until you are willing to believe that we are always with you. The true message. You have already received a definite clear sign. One that you have asked for over and over again. The snow angel will reply again. But it is the message that you are refusing to hear. Not her presence. That is what you're denying. It is your own fear and attachment to hesitating that keeps you on pause. It is time to see what has already been shown to you and take immediate action without hesitation. The snow angel has shown you so very clearly that you will protect it and care for. Now it's time for you to do exactly that for yourself. And yes, you can open up your senses to an angelic guidance. You know what I'm getting here, ladies? I'm getting that you are fucking up your own self in a sense, because I want to say that this guy here, he might not be as bad as you think. And I feel like you might be projecting the fact that you had to sneak away from this person and this whole situation. I feel like you're projecting this shit on people that don't deserve it. And everybody that you're meeting is like, this person remind me of my ex. This person remind me of my ex. And I don't want you guys to do that. I feel like you've been asking God to like send you a new man and send you love and stuff. And they be sending them to you over and 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 over again. Or they be sending you signs of what you need to do to achieve and accomplish that love. And I feel like the signs are already with you and you are just you're just missing it. And I know it is the winter time, so I definitely feel that another sign is going to come to you ladies of whatever it is that you guys are asking for and it's going to come to you again this winter i feel like it's going to come to you and um yeah it's going to come to you like if it's, whatever the last snow is whatever the last snow is in your area you should have seen the sign by the last snow please clarify the snow angel There go that. It's that night of. It's the night of uh, swords in reverse. 
Knight of Swords in reverse. Hit all the, the Three of Cups again. And someone being confused by options. I feel like it's like I feel like okay. I feel like you just can't think clearly. I feel like you've been enjoying yourself and you've been having a good time and you've been celebrating your newfound freedom and things like that. And um you've been had you've had a lot of options and you have a lot, like a lot of people coming towards you but you just confused and I just feel like you really don't know who or what to choose or if any of those options at all are even a good option for you because I see that, you know, you look like these motherfuckers are driving you crazy and it's like you're almost annoyed at these options. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Like this shit, you know, I just like that's what I'm getting. And I feel like you don't know how to emotionally give. And you feel like almost like the odds have, have have been turning against you to where as though you have you have received this freedom and I feel like you're celebrated and you've been celebrating. You know, you've been celebrating this newfound freedom. You you know you're rushing for it and you know you're rushing forward, but I, I just I just feel like you just really don't know why. It's just it's been driving you crazy. Why after all of this freedom, after I I'm so happy I've reconnected with a lot of people from my past that my long lost friends. I've been celebrating. Like I said, I've been celebrating, enjoying myself, having a good time. I've been living like I I feel like you've been living your best life. Like, honestly and truly, you've been with your girls. I feel like if some of you guys are in sororities, you've been hooking, linking back up, and you've been doing some stuff that has to do with your sorority um group or whatever. Like, you are just really on some girl power shit right now. You've been really enjoying yourself. But for some reason, you just don't know why. You can't come to a clear decision. You just don't know why. Out of all of these options that you have... You can't find one that makes you emotionally secure enough for you to turn around and select a cup. You know, you almost feel like the odds are against you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like a lot of the dudes that you've been communicating with, it's like, whereas though they were celebrating you at first, like, oh my God, you so sexy, you so beautiful, and this, this, and that. They feel like you a player. They feel like you've been out here celebrating. You you got all these extra people in your environment. And you do. I mean, you do have a lot of options and shit. But they not no options that you really want. I mean, let's, let's keep it 100. And it's like, I don't know why y'all turning y'all back on me. Y'all getting mad at me like these men are getting mad at you. Because they feel like they can't get no truth out of you. You can't give them no clarity of where... They stand in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you too, busy, you too busy out here having it up with your girlfriends. They feel like you got too much going on that you don't have no time for them. That you confused. And you don't emotionally give to them at all. You know, that you got your back turned to them. And they're just like, man, that's the queen of cups there. Like, I want her to turn around and acknowledge me. And, you know... I want the Queen of Cups to turn around to acknowledge me and you're not giving these men or these suitors, you're not selecting them. You're not selecting them. And it's like, the, 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 the whereas though, it's like they were celebrating you at first. Like, oh my God, you so sexy and you're just this and that. Now motherfuckers is mad. You see what I'm saying? Because... You're not giving them the attention that they feel that they deserve. And you just like, I don't feel like I deserve none of y'all. Like, I don't want none of y'all. I don't even know. Like, you in this point where it's just like, I've been asking the Lord for signs. I've been asking the Lord to send me signs, send me signs. And you sending me all these signs. But it's just like, it's driving me crazy because I don't know what to choose. And I don't really see nothing that I really want. I just been out here having fun, like enjoying myself and, you know, just 
chill it with my friends and just I've been talking I've been meeting some guys but I'm not mentally sure as who I really want or if I if I even want any of them at all I don't know if I want any of these people at all like I don't know if I want any of these people at all so let's get some guidance and love let's get some guidance and love divine feminine but I do feel like for a select few of you guys, I feel like this Knight of Cups, I feel like you've been asking God to send me somebody. And he's been sending them to you, but you've been rejecting them. I don't feel like they are anyone that you are attracted to. But I feel like the reason why you're not attracted to these people, because I feel like you be looking, not looking, but I don't feel like you're really ready to put the time in. And to work with any work on anything with anybody because I feel like you all prayed out. You're all you're all worn out. You're all battle beaten and it's just like you just don't I feel like you fear conflict. You fear getting into a situation where heart to heart conversation in reverse you fear having a situation you fear getting into a situation where you might have a battle or a conflict or have to defend yourself again you know what i'm saying you 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 have you need to have a heart to heart conversation that you you're fearing like getting in a relationship and having to go through a separation again and you need to have a conversation you're, you're fearing separation and unrequited love again that's what it is. And you need to like face the truth and really, you know, deal with the fact that this is this is getting in the way of you getting to know people and express your love. That's why you're not able to get to know people and express your love because you fear that so much. But you need to get your passion back. Thank you so much, God, for giving me that guidance. Thank you so much. Do you hear me, Divine Feminine? Do you hear me? You need to sit down and have a clear heart to heart conversation with yourself about this because I feel like you're projecting energy on people that really don't even deserve it. Some of you guys now, there is somebody, there is a few of y'all that y'all have been dealing with somebody after you separated from this quote unquote divine masculine that I don't feel like was your divine masculine. I feel like it was a karmic teaching you a lesson to get you to the divine masculine and i'm going to say that in every video because that's what i believe and until we find a true love uh, until i start seeing some messages down in the in my comment section are you right you right i found my true love now i'm gonna keep saying that because i honestly do not believe that this person that y'all snuck away from this situation that you snuck away from you know i just feel like you're not ready you're not ready because you're scared you need to you need to really sit down and talk to yourself and deal with yourself. I don't feel like you really addressed yourself. I feel like some of you guys just got away from this situation and you're just trying to move on. And I feel like you guys might be partying. You could possibly be, be going out and partying and drinking too much, you know. You know, you could be going out celebrating too much. But I feel like the guys that are being introduced or that are coming to you, they feel like, I feel like that's how they look at you, like you party too much. You party too much and I feel like you're not emotionally available to them because you fear having to separate or possibly be in a situation where it's an unrequited love again. You fear that with everything in your being. And you're just like, I just, I just rather just have a good time and just party and just celebrate with my friends and meet new people and just mingle, you know. Versus getting to know someone on that level. I don't think you're ready to get to know nobody on that level. You are not ready to express love to anyone on that level. Do you understand? Divine Feminine is not ready for that. You need to allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. You need to get the passion and the spark back into your life. So that you can love again. Spirit, please give me some guidance. Please give me some additional guidance in regards to this love spread here. And then we're going to do a dig deep dive. And y'all already know that these videos belong. These Divine Feminine Divine Masculine videos belong. So if you ain't got like an hour, 
go ahead click off and you need to watch this whenever you can because i'm trying to tell you but definitely come back because i don't want y'all to miss please don't miss the meat and potatoes y'all we about to go deep Mm -hmm. You're getting yourself balanced so that you can move forward. Because, you know, you um, feel like you've been healing for a long time. You've been healing for a long time. And uh, I just feel like you just, you just moving slow as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just moving slow as shit towards you making an effort to... You just moving slow. You moving slow. But like you just delaying your own process because you too worried about people coming in your life with this in and out Knight of Wands energy. You too worried about that. You you I feel like you so worried about these type of people, you know. You so worried about these people that you could possibly manifest more of it into your energy because you thinking about it so much. And I feel like in order for you to, yeah, 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 listen, in order for you to be able to move quicker and really be balanced so that you can really, not only so you can think about Getting yourself balanced because this is you you thinking about getting yourself balanced and leaving those two foundations behind that was holding you back. And right now you you're working on getting grounded in your in your power and you're charging up your magic stick. But at the same time, I need you to have really left them behind and start walking forward. Do you see what I'm saying? I need you to really start making that movement forward. You need to start moving forward. You need to start moving forward because you've you've kept yourself in hibernate. Don't you think it's been long enough? I think that you've, you know, you've grown enough. You've learned enough. I mean, you've you've got yourself to the point where, I mean, you should be ready to move forward. But I just feel like you're 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 keeping yourself slow. You're moving at your own pace. You're just moving slow because you want to move slow. You're keeping yourself held back because you want to keep yourself held back. Because you're scared of these type of people. You're scared that you're going to bring these people into your energy. But if you keep thinking about it and you keep fearing it, you're going to manifest it. You are going to manifest it. These people that just come in, in and out just want to fuck. Devil dick. You already know. Devil dick. Okay? You got to get your mind together. You got to get your mind together. And then like an eagle, you'll soar. And then you'll be able to be triumphant. Do you see what I'm saying? Then you'll have that illumination and that sun is shining. You will seriously be crowned. But right now, your, your thoughts have to soar to a higher vibration. Do you see what I'm saying? Your soar has to, your, your thoughts have to soar to a higher vibration in order for you to be victorious. And that is the high priestess. Do you understand? It is certain sacred and ancient wisdom and knowledge that is being hidden for you because the high priestess feel like you are not ready. You have to like, you have to work on that self-love a little bit. You have to work on you know, your higher self. You need to get to know your own self. You need to, you know, I feel like you're keeping yourself withdrawn. Yes. You know, you're keeping yourself withdrawn. Yes. But you're keeping yourself withdrawn. But what are you learning? If you haven't learned keeping your mind and your mental state in fear, Dwelling on something is a manifestation. You are telling the universe, I fear this so bad that I'm not ready for, for new beginnings and new growth because all I can, I'm living in my fears. So you're telling the universe to stagnate your blessings. 
because you're waiting for yourself to get balanced. But how can you get balanced when the only thing that you can focus on is your fears? And that's why the high priestess is telling you, I need you to vibrate higher, sweetie. I need you to listen. I need you to get mentally clear so that I, the, the ego trying to bring you this reef, okay? These people don't have any place in your energy and in, you know, your life period as long as you don't give it any value. You don't give it any thought in your heart, your spirit, in your mind. The universe won't even let those things vibrate to you. I feel like your family right now, your family right now has been holding you down. I really do feel like you and your family, um, your cousins and stuff, I feel like that y'all have a great bond and connection. I feel like ever since you snuck away from this situation, I feel like they admire you a lot. And they look at you for your strength and your growth and shout out to you. Because I feel like that you, um, they look up to you in a lot, in a lot of ways. But I'm, I'm ready for you to vibrate higher and give them something else to look up to. Because I want you to really get... Your knight of cups. Your knight in shining armor. You know what I'm saying? Except for this time, not someone that you offering your cup to. I want them to be offering their cup to you. You understand? And I think that's the that's the true message. You need that is the message. That is the damn vibra boy. Listen, that is the message. That is the true level that you need to vibrate on. And I feel like that's what you're teaching your family. You're teaching your family your vibration right now. Because a lot of people are just like, man, how the fuck did you just like wow, like you really changed it. You just like man, I've I've come into inner peace and I've got myself balanced. The high priestess told me to get myself centered with the universe and I became positive energy vibrations. Girl, you better go ahead and tell them motherfuckers, girl. No, but that's some real ass shit. Like you guys have got your vibrations on a high level. And you more focused on the people that love you. You're more focused on the people that love you and not the person that you love, the person that you're chasing and the person that ain't on your vibration. You're only dealing with people that's on your vibration. And you're dealing and you're focused with your family right now. And I feel like your little cousins and, and your sisters and, 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 and like your play cousins and that stuff. First off, y'all some badass bitches. Know that. Know that. Look at y'all. Badass bitches at the bar being a fucking star. And y'all be sitting up there talking about like, girl, yeah, he was a fuck nigga. Mm -mm, no, girl, he had some good ass dick. Girl, yes! <laughs> That's y'all up at the bar acting stupid. That's y'all at the bar acting stupid. Y'all been to the bar two, three times. Where else? Y'all was in the bar somewhere else up in this spread. Y'all been going, live your life, enjoy your life, enjoy your life. But I need you to get your passions back flowing because you're not truly going to attract someone because that's your thing you've been too focused on someone that you're trying to give your your heart to but see that's the thing and that's why if it's anybody that you got to give your heart to to initiate something don't work on that don't work on that because it's going to unforeseen battle where you're going to have to get on your knees and end up asking god for prayer please help me get through this journey don't do that and that was the true lesson for you. That that was the true lesson for you. And that's why you keep attracting. That's why you keep attracting these men that don't know how to emotionally give. Do you understand? And that be too focused on other things in their past. Okay? And they can't emotionally give to you because after they're scorned from maybe someone that stung their ass in the past. And now they don't know how to emotionally give. And they don't know how to be true to themselves to be true to you. Do you see what I'm saying? So you need to not deal with damaged individuals like this. Because this is someone that got their ass stung. This is someone that got their ass stung real good. Because if you got your ass stung by a Scorpio, you got your ass stung. Whoever this man is that got their ass stung by a Scorpio, they got their ass burnt up real good because they was playing with fire. Now this person's scared to give and this person don't know how to come to terms with this shit and they don't know how to be truthful about nothing. And these are the type of people that they want you to show them something. They want you to give to them before they give you anything. And guess what? Y'all supposed to be a knight. Why am I giving you anything? Do you see what I'm saying? This motherfucker better show you a whole lot before you offer a cup to him. Do you understand, ladies? I mean, a whole, whole hell of a motherfucking lot. 
a whole hell of a lot. And if you decide whoever this was is not on your vibration and you don't want to work on this thing because you feel like this might be an unforeseen battle and conflict that you ain't ready to deal with, girl, don't do it. Don't do it. And I feel like this is what you're telling your family. This is what you're telling your friends. You're teaching them how to vibrate on a higher level. You know what I'm saying? You're teaching them how to vibrate on a higher level. But what the high priestess is trying to tell you that you still have a lot to work on because what they're trying, what she's trying to do is give you access to what is behind her throne. And that is the key to the true, to the true secrets of the universe for you to seriously study. You know? You have been granted access. You have shown the high priestess that you are willing and able to accept. And she's willing and able to teach you and put you under her wing. Right now, you're not ready. You see how this side of the throne, you see? That's all that, all that in the back is hidden. She only showing you one side of her right now. She only giving you a little bit. Because you have to prove to the high priestess that you are ready. You have to prove to the high priestess, you know, that you're not projecting and that you're not living in fear. Do you understand? Because she's hiding some shit from you. And it's not nothing bad. It is true spiritual knowledge for you to be on the next level of a high vibration, okay? And she wants you to get yourself together. And you know what I want to say? She's proud that you out and you teaching the people that's younger than you and, 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 and telling them about, I feel y'all, you were telling them, you're teaching them about karmic partners and karmic situations and what that means and to don't stand for that and that you're better than that. And, and that's what you were going through. And you're talking to the people in your family about that and to how to not compromise. True love is not a compromise. Do you understand? True love is not a compromise. You understand? You and that person, you guys only work to each other. And y'all compromise, if anything, for your love for each other. It's not a compromise where you have to, you know. This, this, this is true love. You understand? This is true love. This ain't true. Uh, this is this is true love. You understand? Two people. Two can add up to four. Do you understand? Three, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. Like what? You gotta vibe, you gotta vibrate higher. You gotta vibrate higher. You gotta learn not to compromise yourself. Not to compromise yourself. And always put yourself first. Mm-hmm. This is um was crossroads. So this is basically what you're telling your family. You at the bar with your family. You like look, babe. Look. Look, babe. I did have a, a, a situation with this person. I did love them, and I thought that they were my family. And I thought that this person loved me. But you know what? I had to vibrate higher. And I had to realize, you know, if this person thought enough to treat me as an option, I wasn't an option at all. I wasn't an option good enough for this person at all. I was good enough for myself, though, because I'm not willing to compromise for nobody. I'm not willing to compromise myself for nobody. If this person doesn't love me and only me, why am I going to keep myself hung up at a crossroads? Why? I know what to decide. I decided, and I chose me. And that's why this winner, that's why this winner, yeah, you right. This winter, yeah, I'm out enjoying myself. I'm out celebrating. I'm having a good time. And yeah, I might be mirroring the energy of a player. And some of these guys might be upset with me. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you guys are upset with me. But at the same time, like, I got to do me. Like, I got to do me. I got to do me. And right now, me offering my cup to somebody is not didn't benefit me in the past. You know, so it's not going to benefit me in the future. And I feel like that's why you're so confused because it's like you don't, you don't want to offer your cup to anybody. You want someone that is truly 
going to show you enough to offer their self to you enough to where it's without a shadow of a doubt you don't feel bad about opening up your heart to 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 this person and whoever these people are you just you don't you don't feel it you don't feel it so that's why y'all are just mirroring this kind of i'm just i'm just dating i'm i'm celebrating i'm having fun i'm just i'm enjoying myself right now i don't know what else to tell you please give me some additional guidance for the divine feminine in love for march thank you so much please give the divine feminine guidance in regards to what else you can look forward to in march action take some action girl take some action what's this and in a child, yes, get out, get your passions going, show people who you are, fresh start, fresh start, take an action to a fresh start, you guys, do you hear me, take some action, yes, and devote yourself to that light, devote yourself to that light and that energy of that fresh start, and I want you to really go and, and smell the air, and I want you to soar, get out and laugh, Get out and have fun. Because when you think more about that, instead of thinking about being scared about the type of energies of uh, of the people that you, you're, you're dealing with and all of these options. And if you just like really just have fun and just really just try to grow. It's the person that comes around. This person is going to be so devoted to you. It's not even going to be it's not a, it's not even going to be a question. You're not going to question on if it's okay to devote yourself to that person. Father, please give me some additional guidance for this love spread. And then, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. And then I'm going to get into the um, shadows. We're going to see if there's anything that the Divine Feminine may be dealing with in the shadows that she may need to clean up. Please give me some clarification on this action, this inner child, this new beginning and devotion. Thank you so much, Father God. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 So, I do see it. The seven. Okay. It's the seven of wands again. So, for these people don't have, it's like they, like they, yeah. Peace. Okay. Okay. So basically what I'm getting here, I feel like you done decided that you don't have to take up arms. You done decided that you don't have to take up arms, but I just want you to know whoever the hell it, this is. Oh, yeah, they're not going to win. Who is this? What is going on, Father God? Please give me some insight. Page of Pentacles. Give me some. Okay. What is going on? Alright. What's going on? All right, so you decided that you may need to take up arms, okay? You feel like there is a conflict. You feel like there's a conflict that you did not see coming. You didn't see it coming, but God seen it coming. And I feel like you were battle prepared because... <laughs> Whoever the fuck this was that try to do whatever the hell that they thought that they were trying. Whoever it said. Okay. So, yeah. For you guys here. For you guys here. 
that you were thinking and, and somebody that you really like and you want to offer your cup to this person but something is something in you that's telling you that it's not a good idea to work on this situation and this is a situation that may be an unforeseen battle where you may have to take up arms again and you just like dear lord i don't want to have to go through this again you know what i'm saying like i'm done fighting like i really don't want to fight anymore but if i have to fight i will get up and i will whoop these motherfuckers ass like I really will because this person you know this person seems like they're focused on something from the past and this person ain't given to me like they were at first and I'm smarter I'm smarter to know better and I think this person is smart this person is this person know how to shut on and shut off their feelings. And I feel like this person knows what they're doing. And they're focused on something in the past with a water sign, with a Scorpio. And this person isn't telling you the truth. And you quickly realize, I need to take up arms because something is going on in the universe and I feel it. And it's coming. It's coming. Okay? And... Whatever it is, it's some bullshit. And I'm not about to let it take me down with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's something that you don't see coming. But for some reason, you got to feel your intuition kicking in like a motherfucker. Ain't it goddamn divine feminine? Whoever this person that you've been dating for, these that this is for the ladies that has been dating, okay? Because like I said, y'all been out a lot. Y'all been having a good ass time. Go ahead, girl. It is your world. You better take your life back. But hold on. This might be one of them stars that you'd have met at the bar. Mm-hmm. This fuckboy devil digging a 101 right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think you're going to see this one coming, but something in your intuition said, oh, bitch, take up arms. Take up arms. But don't worry, because your peace will be flying in, because God going to get this motherfucker right up out your energy for you, honey, because you got a fresh start coming, and this motherfucker will not get away. We're not get away with trying to pull no stick stuff over here. Because guess what? You don't know what the hell I just got through. You don't know what I got through. And I feel like this person was trying to come through off that king, off that king of um, off that king of swords energy in reverse. Wasn't trying to be truthful, being sneaky, mentally manipulating, and they thought that they were going to get away with some shit and try to pull a slick one on you. And you said, you know what, well, let's just come to a compromise here, okay? Because I know that, you know, you used to get away with this shit in the past, but you ain't never met no bitch like me. So go ahead and give me your swords and just say sorry and tuck your tail between your legs and go on about your business. And, you know, we ain't going to have no problems. And that's exactly what they're going to do. That's exactly what they're going to do. Because guess what? You got continuous messages of new of new offers you know a day in and day out so it's like you're not really tripping over the fact that this situation about to end if anything it was a god's blessing and you like uh, shout out god thank you for seeing that for me thank you for not you know hurting me too much by this shit because i still got my inner peace right here look this look, thank you shut that shit down shoot, shoot, shoot. i'm gone god got your back and you know why because your intuition kicked in like shit. You pick, look, this person, this part, they ain't even pick up their shit yet. You was a step ahead of the game. You was a step ahead of the game. You was like, go ahead, ball now, because I got other offers coming in. I'm not even really tripping over you. And you deaded that communication real quick, fast, in a hurry. You deaded that communication. Because guess what? You got a Ten of Pentacles coming to you. You got a Ten of Pentacles coming to you. And it might be coming to you in the form of an older man. I don't, I'm don't. i hoping it ain't that old unless you like him that old. You like him that old? You like him that old? I feel like, look, you're going to find a companion. You're going to find a true companion. Someone that, to, you know, like they said, that's my dog. <laughs> that's my dog. And I feel like possibly like someone that may be... Just a casual associate that's just your friend. Like, you just be like, man, that's just my dog. That ain't nobody. That's just, like, my old friend from back in the day. Like, I don't be like, no. I feel like, you know, 
there might be a chance for you with this older man. I'm not, I don't think that the person is this old. I'm thinking like maybe like three, four years older than you. Like no more than five years older than you. But this man is grounded. He's stable. He keeps a stable environment around him. And you're going to have a stable environment around you. Not only that, because you know how to cut people on and off nowadays. You know? But I do feel like for some reason, I do feel like for some reason, for some season, there's something that you are not seeing. There's something that you're still burdened to. There's something that you're still burdened to. And it's something that you're still trying to walk away from. It's something that you're still trying to walk away from that is getting in the way of this of this uh, will of fortune to turn from you. Because those two um, little creatures on the side, those are your inner demons. And the Sphinx put their hand on that will of fortune and said, uh-uh, before we go any further, before you get any further in your journey, and whoever this is uh, helping you along your journey, Pushing that boat while you get your mind together, while you rest and you get your shit together. Shout out to you. Thanks to you. But at the same time, something is keeping you tied up and bound. And it's stopping your wheel of fortune from coming. And I think it is because you are still looking back to things in the past. I feel like you, you are possibly still paying attention to... Um, a crab that looks like a crab down there, right? These damn water signs, these damn water signs. I'm trying to tell you. So let's let's find out. Let's find out what is causing the stagnation. Spirit, please give me guidance into the root and the core of the issue with divine feminine as to what is causing the stagnation. What is causing the stagnation in regards to this fresh start? Why is the will of fortune not turning all the way? And also, no, let's do that, number one. Now, also, and, and please give me some insight in regards to this time moment, please. What is this time moment? I feel like y'all still attracting the same energy because I do. I feel like that's it because y'all keep attracting the same type of people because y'all are so focused on not attracting them people that you are attracting them. Unstable. This is unstable, but you're getting stable. You're getting stable. That was in the reverse. This unstable card, you're becoming stable. All right? So eat that. They can eat that, huh? What is this? Envious. Oh, envy. Hmm. Hmm. Envy water. <laughs> yeah, you looking back and you're, I feel like you're envious of the crab. You're envious of the crab because I feel like you you weren't able to fill the void. I feel like okay. So what was keeping you unstable, but you're working on and you're working on getting yourself out of there. You are releasing those waters. You know what I'm saying? Those rushing waters, that flood water. You are realizing that's what was keeping you unstable. You being still emotionally attached and grounded to this situation with this crab. You I feel like you. We're paying too much of attention of this crab walking away from you. Do you see what I'm saying? You sobered up to the fact that that relationship is dead and gone. And you did move forward because you didn't have any choice but to move forward. Because you sobered up about the situation. But at the same time, you know, I feel like you're a little envious because this person, you snuck away from this person in the nick of time because you know that this person was sneaking away from you and you got away from them before they can really do what they need what they were trying to do 
but they were trying to get away with. You got away before they can even get in the water and, and really get wet. You see what I'm saying? But you're envious about them because I feel like your divine masculine or person that you were with before, this person may still be with the person that they were sneaking around on you with. And you haven't been able to fill that void. You haven't found anyone that you've connected with that you really like. And I feel like you need to devote your time to taking action and having fun again and bringing that love, light, and that true vibration into your life. So you can stop attracting these type of dudes. You see what I'm saying? Because you're attracting, it's recycled energy. You're attracting the same type of people because you haven't found peace in in. In this situation, you have to seriously let that go. Because if you think that man is being anything any better to that lady than the way that he was to you, you're you're joking yourself right now. That's a big joke. That woman is just as miserable. She took your pain from you. Thank her. Don't be envious of that. That void will be filled as soon as you allow it to be filled. You have to... You have to only see love and light. You have to only see love and light. And you know what? Stop going to the bar venting about the situation with your ex, with your friends and your family and shit. Y'all need to find something else to talk about. Because y'all are still keeping that stagnated energy. And it's still being communicated about. It's still being talked about. Stop talking about it. Y'all need to talk about some new dick. Dead ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to give me some new new. I'm about to give me some new, because I don't want to be haunted by this situation no more. And it's still looming around in your energy because you're still attracting the same type of fuckboys. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to silence your mind. Stop thinking about that. I'm glad you got over it. I'm glad that you are successful. I'm glad that you created a new environment. If that is true, it ain't no need for you to think about it. Ain't no need for you to talk about it. It ain't no need for you to keep recycling that energy in your atmosphere. Stop talking. Stop thinking. You see how she got her hands over her brain? Stop talking and thinking about it. Don't look at it. Hear no evil. See no evil. Think no evil. Speak no evil. You hear me? You need to go. You're guarded. But you got that new beginning right there. That new beginning needs to be right on the top of your brain. That butterfly. Do you hear me? That's it. That's it. And this, this, was dis, this is disillusioned, but it was in the reverse. So you're no longer disillusioned about everything that happened. You understand? And if you're talking to people about a teaching moment because... You know, that's good. That's good. But at the same time, you know, other than that, it don't need to be discussed. We need to be talking about the new beginnings. That's it. And I need you to hear no evil, think no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Don't look at it. Nothing. All right. In regards to the situation with this new person, where this tower moment is going to come in that you don't see coming. What's going on with that? What is going on with this Knight of Cups? If this Knight of Cups could talk and tell us what they are thinking, please give us his energy and what he would like to say in regards to this unforeseen tower moment. This ending, this eruption that you did not coming where you have to block communication with this person this person says you are an angel this person looks to you as if you are an absolute angel it says my mind and my heart always comes back to you all right it says I feel badly for the way I treated you you didn't deserve that okay and it says I don't know how I feel anymore. So for whoever this energy is for, all right? And I definitely feel like some of you guys have been talking to your ex. 
um and some of the some of you guys this is a new person so regardless of whoever this knight of cups is to you okay so this person looks very highly of you they they honestly feel like you are an angel you are a blessing in, in in their life um and they think about you a lot it doesn't matter who what they are doing and who they are with i feel like little things little simple things down to the type of butter somebody buy or you know what i'm saying like they can even be going to the grocery store and like say the new person that they're dating now like they always be trying to buy off brand like bagels and cream cheese and shit and you just not used to eating that shit because you know the divine masculine or whoever this dude is that you used to date or whatever they know good and goddamn well you don't eat no off brand got like no if that shit don't say philadelphia cream cheese on it you better not bring that shit in my house you better not be bringing no price right shit in my house. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she fancy. She bougie. You know what I'm saying? She sophisticated. She like quality. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with no price right shit or no Dollar Tree stuff. But I don't I don't get mad at people that's just like, I don't eat that. I want like, can you go to Giant or Shoppers or Safeways or Kroger's or Food Line or wherever y'all got? Uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, I feel like with little simple things like that, whoever this man is, have it be the divine masculine or have it be this new person that you're dating, you feel like, they feel like that their mind and their heart always goes back to you about little simple things and they feel badly for the fact that they got you caught up in this shit. They feel badly, and I want to say, and what just came to my head right now, I feel like some of you guys doing this retrograde is going to try to venture back and go back to talking to your ex, and God going to shut that shit down immediately. God going to be like, you think I don't see that shit? Uh-uh. No. And you better get your ass the fuck up and get on up out of here, okay? Because I'm going to give you a sign to take up arms, Okay? I'm going to give you something to take up arms because we're not about to do this shit again. Don't make me throw your ass about this goddamn tile with him. Because you see it's two people. Now that could be you, the other bitch he fucking with, and you could be flying away with peace or that could be you and him. Because God see y'all and he said, don't make me whoop your ass now. Don't make me whoop your ass. So I, I, I just got that. I just got that download from spirit. So... Y'all, but this retrograde, now come on now, just because they say it's retrograde, that is to prepare you that the energies is coming around. That don't mean that you need to entertain it. Do you understand? Right? But this person may come around and say that they feel badly for the way that you treat it, you know? But at the end of the day, they don't know how to feel. I don't think that this person knows how to, this person don't know what they want. And you know that. Please give the Divine Feminine less guidance because I think this video is probably like an hour and a half assertiveness. You better assert yourself. Assert yourself. Know what you want and act like you know what you want. Don't know what you want and be talking about it. Take action. You understand? That new growth, that new fresh new start, be assertive about receiving that in your life. Do you hear me, Divine Feminine? Assert yourself and take it back entrepreneur you don't need nobody but yourself and it's opportunity to forgive but that was in the reverse why do i feel like something else came out hold on was that it no that was it okay so listen so you need to assert yourself you need to be assertive stand up for what you believe in and don't back down if you walked away from certain situations keep walking because you don't need nobody but yourself so stop trying to add and make people fit in your life that don't need to be there. Certain people don't need to be forgiven. Y'all get me? You got me? Cool. All right. Divine Feminine, this has been a lot. And I, like I told y'all, we, we, we going deep today. We was going deep. Oh, let me give you. I'm sorry. God and sin, life, purpose, and career. I said I was going to do all the cards on the table. We're going to do all the cards on the table, huh? I said we're going to do a tweet. I want you to write down your thoughts, your wishes, your hopes, and your dreams. 
write it down it is written and so it shall be manifested into your life some of you are ready to change your career all right and it is time and i want you to know that god is blessing you and he's encouraging you to work to make that career change because you guys are truly blessed and you guys are talented and i want you to touch each and every goddamn talent that is in your heart, your mind, and your body so that God has blessed you with. I want you to do and try everything. Some of y'all want to go out and go get you some of y'all tattoos. That's what you and your little silly goddamn girlfriends. Y'all be talking about at the bar, girl. I'm about to get my whole side tatted. <laughs> Bitch, I'm about to fuck them up this summer. So y'all about to go and get y'all body work now so that that shit could be all healed up. So when it's time to put on them bathing suits, bitch. They mm, ain't see me coming. <laughs> girl, if you don't go and do your thing, do your thing. I feel like right now, you know, your family. Uh, I feel like, you know, you got certain people in your family that love it. And I, I, there's some people in your family that hate it. And some, and the people in your family that love it, shit, y'all celebrating. And I feel like the ones in, in your family that's hating, they sit back talking shit about you and your, <laughs> how you and your cousins and all them. They be going up. Them bitches think they cute because we are. Thank you. <laughs> Trust and know that. <laughs> Trust and know that. And, and and also know them people that was doing this shit that wasn't um fair to me. That unjustified behavior. They can keep thinking that they're getting away with it if they want to. They're not. I promise you, they're not. They're not. Cause you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep building, and I'm going to keep creating new life. Do you understand? I am going to keep, I'm going to smell my roses while I'm here. I'm not going to sit here and cry and worry about some bullshit in the past. Why when I got options? I got options. Okay? And guess what? I'm a pretty princess. I'm too sensitive for the fuck shit. I don't even indulge in that. I don't even invite it in my life anymore. Pish tosh. Bye bye, bitch. You know, because when you become a queen and think we only wear fine silks and beautiful fabrics and, you know, 200 thread uh, sheeting or I don't know what the fuck. What they be saying? 200, 2000 thread count, bitch. I don't know. All I know is I be having cotton, but I want to get me some of that. Who? Uh, shit. Where I get it from? Where I get it from? Girl, I'm trying to change my life. Let me upgrade you. Anyway, I love y'all. I will holler at y'all in the mid months. Y'all make sure y'all check out y'all mom, please. Y'all make up, make sure y'all check out the morning slide. Hit that like button if this gave you any, 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 any insight. And if it resonated with you, if you want a personal or private reading, go ahead and hit that about tab. Hit that um, hyperlink, Scorpion Reds Tarot, and simply book me. And also, if this resonated, if you want to, you know, give a donation to the page, please do. It goes right back into this page because trust and believe you guys made all of this possible. All of these decks, wait, these decks are not new. These decks are new. You know, this camcorder that I'm moving is new. You guys, you guys did this. You know, you guys did this. You guys did this. Your support, your love. I've been able to put it back into my page and give it back to you so I can use some deeper insight to give you deeper messages. So I love you. Thank you guys for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. Love and light to all my warriors out there, my divine feminists that's been out there fighting. They've been kicking ass out here, honey. You've been kicking ass and you've been fucking some people up because people, they've been used to... They've been used to having their way, and they ain't having their way no more. They ain't having their way no more. Shout out to all of y'all. Stand up for what you believe in. Fight for your love. And just know, listen, devote yourself to that fresh beginning. I love y'all. Peace.